wherever you go, take Bridges TV with you. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or the Bridges blog for a chance to win a free laptop. Winner will be announced on September 6th. For more details, visit BridgesTV.com. And people in New York City held a rally to support the inclusion of Muslim holidays in the school calendar. The rally came on the anniversary of a city council resolution supporting the move. Bridges correspondent Salim Rizvi has this report. New York City Muslims came out in numbers to demand inclusion of Eid holidays in the public school calendar. Last year in June, the city council voted unanimously to recognize Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha as school holidays. But New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg has refused to close schools on Eid holidays, saying that students need more education, not less. Robert Jackson is the chairman of the Education Committee of the City Council. You know, we sent that uh, message to the mayor and the chancellor, asking them to incorporate our Muslim holidays into the New York City school calendar. He has not done that as of yet, and it's one year. So this press conference and rally by hundreds of people, majority all Muslim, but there were Jews, there were uh, Christians here, and people of all faiths and religions, and many school children, uh, sending a message that over 12 percent of the New York City school children are Muslims, and we want to have the same respect and inclusion like Christians, like Jews, into the school calendar. That's all we're asking for. More than 80 civic, labor, and religious groups, including Christian and Jewish groups, took part in the rally at City Hall. Holiday advocates say that actual impact on school calendar would be minimal, as the Eid holidays would be only five days in the next 12 years, as most of them are falling on either holidays or weekends. Muslim parents of school-going children and students believe they are entitled to have Eid holidays as well. The school are open in the Eid days. We don't have opportunity to stay home with their family to celebrate the Eid. So they have to go to the school. Sometimes the parents want to keep their children with them to celebrate their Eid, to let them know this is the Muslim holidays. So that's why we're here today, to ask for the holiday for the Muslim as well. If the Jewish can get holiday, the Christian can get holiday, the other religion can get holiday, why not the Muslims? I go to school because I have to to get my education. But whenever I come back, I go and pray to replay what I did not do. And my dad tells me like what the Imam's speech was. He explains to me what he said and what I have to follow and not to follow <clears throat> all that bad stuff. Muslims are still hopeful that the mayor will see reason and declare Eid holidays. I remain hopeful that, inshallah, the community will get the Muslim holidays. Um, I think the outpouring support that the Muslim community has received from the broader New York community, Christians, Jews, and others, um, will certainly win over the heart of the mayor and that he will make the right decision by the community. Around 100,000 Muslim students in the city are affected by the non-closure of schools on Eid days. Salim Rizvi, Bridges TV, New York City.